Hello everyone, I welcome you to my channel. Today I am going to show you how to install the latest version of PHP on a Windows operating system. So let's begin. Now to install the latest version of PHP, you need to first simply go to your favorite browser and in the address bar, just simply search with PHP space download and then enter and you'll be seeing this www.php.net is basically our first search result so just simply click on downloads php and this is going to redirect you to this official site of php download page and here you can see that our current stable version of php is 8.1.8 .8, and it has released on 7th of, 7th of july 2022 so this is what we are going to download but we need to see that uh, what operating system we are using so since we are going to install it for windows i'm going to you know simply click on windows uh, downloads if you are using some other operating system like linux and all so you need to proceed with these links since i am using windows so i'm going to just simply click on that and it will going to redirect you to this page php 8.1 8.1.8 and from here we are going to download thread safe one okay so the same is available here the zip file so i'm just going to download this zip file from the third save so just simply click on that and it will going to start downloading our php and as you can see that our download has rightly completed so just you know simply click on uh, show in folder and you can see that our php 8.1.8 is already been downloaded over here so we need to extract it so just simply right click on it then you know just simply click on extract all and it will going to open this window so just you know keep this all default just simply click on extract and it will going to start extracting and you can see that our extraction is rightly completed and it has also redirected to you know open this folder so i'll just simply close it so this is basically the extracted folder right and all files and everything is already here so what i'll be doing is i'll be just shortening this folder name so what i'll be doing is just simply going to delete this much and just going to keep php-8.1.8 okay a simple now what i'm going to do is i'm going to just uh, you know a simple right click on it now i'm just going to you know simply right click on it then just simply click on cart and then i'll just simply go to my c drive then right click on it and paste that's all so what we are doing is we are first downloading our php then we are going to extract it and then we are going to rename it to a you know smaller name and then we are going to simply paste it paste it right in our c drive right so all files and folders are right over here now it's time to set our environment path that's the most important step so for that you need to just simply click on this address bar then right click on it and copy and now you need to just simply click on this you know in uh, uh, in magnify icon and here you need to just simply search with environ and you'll be getting this edit the system environment variables so just simply click on that and it will going to open this system properties window so here you need to just simply click on environment variables and it will going to open this environment variables window here you need to just simply click on path then edit and then new and remember we have copied that path so here we need to just simply right click on it and paste that's all see that path is rightly pasted over here now just simply click on ok then again ok and then again ok so now that our environment path is already set i'll just simply minimize it our browser as well and now what i'm going to do is i'm going to open command prompt so for that again simply click on this magnify icon and here just simply search with cmd and it'll be getting command prompt right over here so just simply click and open it and here if you just simply type php space dash dash version then enter you can see that the latest version of php that is php 8.1.8 .8, is rightly installed on our machine so in this way you can easily install the latest version of php on your windows operating system now if you want to you know now i'm going to show you a simple hello world program and how to run them in php so for that you need to just simply right click on it and new folder i'm going to give this folder name as php practice okay because this is just a 
simple project of PHP that I'm going to make. So PHP practice, then right click on it, new, a text document. So let's give the text document uh, name as hello world. And I am going to also rename this txt to ph.php and enter and it will going to ask you whether you'd like to you know change the extension name i'm going to click on yes and it has rightly changed but if for some reason you not able to see this ext extension part dot extension part so that's happening because uh, you, you need to go to this view then show and you'll be seeing this file name extension is unchecked for me it is checked so when it is checked it will going to show this a file name extension okay so all you need to do is you need to just simply go to view then show and then just simply check this and then you'll be able to see the extension over here so you need to change that txt with dot php that's all now just you know simply right click on it and just simply open with uh, notepad so uh, this file rightly open in our notepad so I am going to just you know simply going to write a PHP code snippet to print hello world so echo hello world right so just go to file and save now you need to just simply click on this address bar cmd then enter and you'll be seeing our command prompt let me open now it's time to run our program so php then our file name which is hello world.php so hello world.php and then enter and you can see our output hello world is directly shown in our console so this is basically coming from the code snippet that we have written hello world okay so if you you know change this hello world to hello everyone and just again going to save this and if we again run the same command you'll be seeing hello everyone coming right so in this way you can easily install the latest version of php on your windows operating system and you can easily run any php program using this you know command prompt but i'll be recommending you to use xam software because php is actually a server-side programming language so what this jam software basically does is is create a server okay local host server on your machine only so on that server itself you can run php program as well so i'll be recommending you to use jam for running any php program okay so for that i have already made a video so i'll be putting that link also in the description so do install jam as well it will going to benefit you right so that's basically all about this video friends. Thank you very much for watching this video and God bless you all.